All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about a rug pull, a huge scam that happened in something that's called FX Master Gold. It is February 22nd. 2:22 p.m. and I had a friend of mine reach out to me to tell me that he had $2000 of his own capital just up and run disappear. This is something that unfortunately is extremely common when it comes to these PAM accounts and you have these individual guru traders or groups of guru traders who promise you to have capital return gains based on their performance and they will have some sort of FX book with a link that shows you connected to a real account they'll show you months and months of profitable profits and trades and history to make you believe in their system but it all comes down to this is the broker that they're using an A book or B book broker. And for all of you who don't know what this means, this means does the accounts on that broker and Pam and Ma'am, are they really live accounts? Because a B book broker, you can have it show that it is live, but in actuality, it is fully a demo account. And then you would have an A book broker, which will essentially be a live account and it actually be connected to liquidity. How can you know if you are dealing with an A book or a B book broker? Well, the answer is simple and that is latency and slippage. If there is no latency within the broker that you are trading and it shows that it is a live account, then you know that it is a B book being the fact that the account is literally connected to nothing, not a real liquidity. It's nothing. It's just connected to nothing. It's just demo. <laughs> so there won't be any latency. And as for an A book, you will have latency. You will have slippage. So that's how you're going to be able to tell if your account is connected to an A book or a B book. So that is number one. For everyone else that is looking to gain profits from trading, I highly, highly suggest that you become the trader, that you master the skill set, or use risk managers that allow you to only risk a certain percent like the prop firm risk manager it allows you to risk only a 25th of a percent for example per trade and then you have signals like the positioning tool with prop firm algo so that way you can have a better opportunity and a more likely chance to become a master of the markets trading itself is all about psychology and risk management without those two you will not become a successful trader. So you have to first master your psychology. And after you master your psychology, you have to master risk management. But if you don't have risk management, you're never going to master your psychology. And if you don't have your psychology right, you will never master risk management. So number one, applying risk management using tools like the risk manager, where you literally get to input only risking 25th of a percent for example you're going to be less anxious while trading the second thing that you want to look out for if you are going to invest in something that is a mam or pam or anything that is copy trading where you're funneling in your personal funds with other traders and other individuals in a master account, you have to make sure that the PAM or the MAM is going to be backed by a United States company or has affiliated company partners that are based in the United States. 
if someone is let's say in another country and they're saying that they have this and that going on where you can copy their trades put your own money into a mam and pam account and this company is not reputable and it's just a bunch of online guru traders then it's very likely that they're going to do a rug pull so this is actually one of the big things that happen and why meta trader has been taken off the app store and that's because people are getting manipulated to believe that their funds are safe while they see a live account on their phone and MetaTrader will say live account. In actuality, it's a B book. And when it's a B book, that means it's not a live account, it's a demo account. So when they lose the money, guess what? They actually keep all the money. So let's do some math real fast. If these people at FX Master Gold, right, their minimum was $600. Out of $600, you have a 1,000 people in that ma'am or Pam, that's $600,000. And if they lose it all in one day, there is $600K in their pockets that you just give them while you're there sitting with your hands under your ass wondering what the fuck happened and why your money is gone. This is something that happens and why I do not, do not recommend investing in mams or pams unless it is a reputable face someone that is based in the united states or the company that is suggesting the mam and pam themselves are in the united states and by the way i'm not a financial advisor i'm not here telling you that you should or should not do something i'm just telling you what i've seen and my journey and what i've seen throughout this whole entire history of trading that i've been doing for the last couple of years so through my own research and talking to people who have been inside of the game for a very long time that work directly with meta quotes and that also have seen this happen with their own clients that they create brokers for and unfortunately these people who create these brokers and do deals with these social media influence traders they themselves get in on these types of scams so you have to be extremely careful there you have it guys those are my two cents and for everyone that's watching this i highly recommend to master the skill set of trading by using the prop firm risk manager one click of a button and you're risking a minimum of what you desire per trade and now you have the positioning tool to also help you but in the end it's you against you it's you against your own psychology and your own decision making so if you are someone that struggles with being able to keep yourself accountable you're not able to correct your wrongs then maybe trading isn't for you but if you're someone that can correct your wrongs and can better yourself by realizing the wrong decisions that you've made to make them better, then you have a great chance to becoming a successful trader. With that being said, I'm going to end this video. Please do like and subscribe. Don't forget to drop a comment. If you have any questions, I'll gladly answer them in a video or in the comments section. Enochian parts of Agua Bros. I'm out.